Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl, and this is a requested video about what my pen case looks like. So the pen case I have is one that is zippered all the way around, and it is a Webster's Pages, there we go, Webster's Pages one. Um, I bought this most likely at Michael's or Joann's, I honestly, or Hobby Lobby, I honestly can't remember. So, when you open it up, it's this. Um, I'm going to take you through each pocket. So the pens over here are a mix of, they're mostly Pilot G27s, but this one, and I put them in, as I said, with the exception of this one, I put them in alphabetical order. I don't do Roy G. Biv, I do alphabetical. So this pen right here. The Silly Fox pen, that is a 3.8, is it going to focus? There is 3.8 millimeter, very, very fine tip. This is a black pen that I've been using. Uh, I do have a black pen right here on, with that's duct taped to my red one, but we'll get to that. And it just stays in there. I don't have to use my black that fine tip too often but when I need it it's there then I've got several Pilot G2 7's uh, you can tell those by you know what they look like and right now the ones I have in those colors are the regular blue the green the pink and the uh, teal or aquamarine I'm not entirely sure which color this is then after that Oh, these are also Pilot G2s. Um, this is my lovely um, two-in-one pen that is refillable. They are uh, Pilot G2 uh, uh, 07s, and it's black and red ink. Because um, if I on can only have two colors for my planner, it will be black and red. And red to cross out everything, and black to write everything. But... And I did t duct tape everything together. As you can see, the duct tape starting to come apart. I've actually just replaced the ink in this one. That's kind of why I like these. I'm getting ready to have to replace the... Of course, it's not going to come apart now. I'm getting ready to have to replace the ink in the red one. So, and I did this for a reason because I wanted to be able to, do, to uh, replace the inks. The other two pens that are on this side, this is just a simple orange felt tip pen, very teeny tiny, and this was out of a multi-color pack from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is my Uniball Signo DX that is apparently 0.38 millimeters, so that would explain why it has such a fine tip. And this one, as I said last week, is from the Jet Pens Purple Pen Sampler. So these are the pens that I go to like every day on a daily basis when it comes to my planner. Now the little mesh pocket in front is just full of a bunch of different types of sticky notes and tabs. These sticky notes may look familiar to some of you if you remember what the, uh, the uh, page lifter, page finder look looked like in my planner these were on there and I actually took them off just to uh, just flatten out the uh, the page finder but I have them so so I can still use them as post-its and then this is just a thing of post-its from Ovid it's a medical database that my college subscribes to and you know if you're given free post-its you use free post-its and then this, this is just a thingy of page flags that I keep in here. I don't use them too often, but they're there. On the other side, I'm just going to, I'm going to take this out for a second, but then we'll talk about it. So over here, I need to grab my other two pens. These are the pens that live in my planner all the time. So back here, we have my refills for my Pilot High Tech C Coletto pen. 
So this is the main one, the four color one that lives in my planner. I do have another one, it's right here, and this is a three color one, but right now I only have black and blue in there because I don't have a red insert. I think the next um, time I order a set of Coletto inserts, I'm gonna buy some red ones. So that one just stays in there. And then let's just work this way this time. Uh, this pen is a Unistyle Fit, which is also a customizable ink pen. This one is a five, yeah, a five color. I, and it is the Tinkerbell design. I was sent this by my friend Canyon. And what I've actually done in this one, some people might think is sacrilege, but I took out two of the inks, these two right here, and these two inks right here, here this red one and this white one right here, those are actually ballpoint inks. So, and the rest of them are the unistyle fit. So that's black, that's blue, that's green. And they do work. I can trade them out. It was, it's awesome. I don't use this pen that much, but it's a nice backup pen for these. So, I may look at replacing this, bl this black ink that's in here to see if they have a purple one for unistyle fit. And... I think that would just be my my ideal pen. Then I have, this is just a standard Sharpie fine point in black because this is great for writing on highlighters. Then I have two Papermate Flare pens, one in black, one in red. And then I have a couple highlighters. I have a yellow highlighter. This is, I don't remember what brand this was. And this one is the same brand. I was sent these in a set by, I think it was a rack or it was a swap. Then, and I have this wonderful little Hello Kitty double-ended highlighter. This end is pink. And this end, come on, is blue. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you remember when I used to actually outline my work hours in blue ink and this was the highlighter I used for that. And then I just have a double ended Sharpie because you never know when you're going to need a full Sharpie. In the bottom pocket I have these Ollie clips as you can see. They are wonderful. I don't use them as much as I'd like to because apparently I have a lot more magnetic stuff around me than I actually thought. And this thing of post-its and page flags that was sticking in here, this actually, um, I got this at a, and I under, I realized that it's discs. Bear with me, because you guys know I, I'm not a fan of discs. Um, I got this at a, off a free to a good home table at uh, my local planner meetup. And mainly I just took it because it's post-its, and I can, I can always use more post-its. So... That is what's in here. That's what I keep in here, mainly. And this does go back and forth to work with me in my bag because, of course, the day I don't have it, I mean, I know I have this, but I still like having these. So, um, like I said, this is my Pilot High Tech C Coletto. And this one is my, this is a, Dr. Gri a Pilot Dr. Grip 4 color. And it's your standard four colors, black, blue, green, and red. And this part was a mechanical pencil, but I took the lead out of it. So what I use this end for actually is if I'm counting stuff or I need a point for something, I'll use this. It's still, because it has that mechanical pencil, it does have an eraser. And these are refillable as well. At least at my local Staples, I can get the black and blue refills. Um, I can get a pack of red refills off Amazon fairly easily, but if I want to refill that green, and I actually don't use the green that often for this reason, I have to buy the refill pack for this pen that is one of each color. So, and you know how I talked about, oh, well, um, I can put non 
Unistyle Fit inks in this one, I can't do it in this one. I thought I could, I couldn't. And to be perfectly honest, when I bought this one, I misread the description on jet pens because I thought this was going to be a gel pen, not a ballpoint. I'm dealing because sometimes I just need that ballpoint, but I am irritated that it's not a gel pen. I mean, I love my Coletto, but I go through these inks so quickly that, oh boy, it's just, I think that's why I carry this with me because I just go through these, these refills so quickly. And to me, it's, it's not worth using this pen unless I absolutely have to, but that's just me. And as you guys know, I'm getting ready to do my, uh, plan with me as well. My pens fit in the, the spine, the fabric spine of my Monster Flex. And then this goes with me in my bag at work. So that is my pen case walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting ready to set up to do the plan with me video. So I'll see you guys in that video. Okay. Bye.